What is up guys? Bronze Tech here with a new AMD gaming laptop tutorial or apparently this works also with other Ryzen based CPUs so here it is how to get the best battery life for Ryzen based laptops now essentially what your goal is is to check the meter check that you get negative 7500 milliwatts draining your laptop draining the battery and this is key this is crucial this is what you need to do uh, this is what you need to do and in order to get that apparently this is you know posted on the Zephyrus G14 forums but this can work with other Ryzen based uh, laptops that also do have a dedicated graphics card and it's gonna require you to do a few simple steps so first what you need to do make sure you have all the drivers make sure you have the best BIOS version for your laptop this can work with you know HP Omen and also I'm gonna do it this I'm gonna do this on the um, electronics RP 15 since that's the one I decided to keep every laptop has a different you know minimum or discharge rate so mine can only go down to around 8,000 I've seen it get, go down to 5,000 at some points but all right so first what you need to do is after you update your the, to the latest bios and also um you got to make sure and also disclaimer i cannot guarantee that this will work but this is what has happened for me this has actually worked for me uh with all the laptops that i've tested on my channel so if you haven't checked out all the laptops that i've tested then uh go check out that lineup but most likely this will work for any amd Ryzen based laptop Okay, so step one make sure you if you do have the Zephyrus G14 or the G15 uninstall game first Make sure you do that Install the AMD drivers for from AMD's website. This actually works with the latest uh, AMD Integrated graphics drivers. So here's the software that's going to pop up. That's going to allow you to disable very bright So since mine is already disabled, I'll show you where it's at. It's gonna be right here very bright make sure you disable it all right next once you've done that step two disable the start CN schedule task and tasks scheduler so Google or Windows search task scheduler on the bottom of the Windows search bar and as you can see um, leave AMD updater on your you leave all these other AMD uh, starting uh, notifications on but disable this start CN so what you're gonna do it says ready so go to the run hand side and disable it alright now you don't have to select anything to finalize it it's just gonna disable right then right when you click it so exit that and then Next, what you have to do is go to see force IGPU for, used from within Windows. So what you need to do is go to edit power plan, change advanced settings, and you see what it says balanced. Make sure this is the profile that you're using when you're on battery. So go to, no, is it that one? No. Switchable dynamic graphics, this one. Go to switchable dynamic graphics and on global settings on battery, force the power saving graphics. I already did it, so I think right now it's um, optimi optimized power savings by default, but force power saving graphics forces your computer to go to use the integrated graphics when on battery. Okay, make sure you do that. And then lastly, this is the trickiest part. If you do have a dedicated um, GPU. Now, since I am running OBS software, it's a little tricky uh, because I had to disable my GPU. But what you want to do is go to graphics settings and make sure you any software that you need to use, with the exception of gaming, make sure you search for it. So, for example, I needed to make sure I was using my integrated GPU for um, when I open the program because if you're using the integrated GPU, you're definitely going to save battery 
um, instead of using your graphics card to open up programs. So I already have Streamlabs OBS, uh, and then I selected the integrated GPU power saving. So we back. All right. So go to NVIDIA control panel. What you want to do is m have the usage monitor pop up right here. So in order to do that, you need to go to desktop display GPU activity icon in notification area. Once you get that, you're going to have this box and it's going to show any applications that are running on your computer that are using the dedicated GPU. Your goal is to make sure that you aren't using any programs on the dedicated GPU when you're on battery to save the most battery life. So I already have it set up to the point where, you know, I have all my programs. I had to probably do a few programs that uh, to so that to prevent them from using the dedicated GPU. And again, go back here, search graphic settings, and make sure that you have all the programs. You have to look for them where they're installed and make sure that you select power saving so that it can use, it can force to use the integrated GPU. Once you do all this, you are guaranteed to get the best battery life. Oh, and then also, Lastly, I don't know if this really made a difference, but go here, go to configure surround physx, select CPU. And okay, and then lastly, the most important part to monitor your uh, CPU um, discharge rate. All right, the key things to note here when you install your, when you install battery bar is to make sure it's on power saving mode and wait about like 15 minutes. All right, so the fans are a little loud. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you're editing videos, right? So here is the battery bar stats that I got after waiting 30 minutes. And you can see that I couldn't get quite get the 75, 7,500 milliwatts that um, as advertised, but this is still decent enough. And 9,500 is fine for me. I was, I'm still able to get around four hours of battery life. And keep in mind when I say four hours, that this means that it's four hours of battery, battery life with Chrome, web browsing, etc. Now, if I'm gonna use this for just plain movie watching, you know, YouTube, or I have a movie on file that I wanna watch, that's gonna last a little longer, around six to seven hours, or maybe even longer. But this is the discharge rate I got, and I have seen it in the past dip down to around 8,000, 7,000, even 5,000, but for some reason, I can't get the absolute lowest because there is definitely some other you know background tasks that I can't find I'm gonna keep searching for that but this is definitely good enough battery for me and it's good in general compared to Intel processors AMD processors processors are great this is just a, another case to it that 9000 is a pretty good discharge rate so this can vary amongst other Ryzen based laptops so Around the 8,000 to 9,000 milliwatt range was what I got with the HP Omen and also the Lenovo Legion 5 with the Ryzen 4600H processor. And then the best battery life, which apparently others are saying also, is the G14 and the G15. They actually do get around 7,500 milliwatts. So at least I can report to you guys that these are the rate, at least I can report to you guys the rates of these battery discharge rates. But again, you're gonna have to figure out and tweak each laptop differently. Uh, I know that HP, or I know that HP Omen, you're gonna have to set it to the, the the lowest, the quiet mode. I think it's called default. No, I think it's called the the cooling mode or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, just make sure you enable all that and set it to the lowest settings. Basically, you want to just get just get your CPU to the lowest power possible when on battery, and that's the key. So I hope you like this video. Um, Give it a thumbs up if you liked it or if it helped you and leave a comment down below if you need, still need help or you have other thoughts about the discharge rates of this laptop, these Ryzen based laptops. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.